the cloud. We've all heard of it, we almost all use it, but did you know it's impacting our environment and not in a good way? When data such as photos, videos, emails, and apps go into cloud storage, they don't just disappear into thin air, they get stored on a physical server. Those servers are often housed in large facilities called data centers or server farms. These massive buildings are filled with tower after tower of servers holding all of our cloud data. According to Landon Marston, a professor of civil and environmental engineering at Virginia Tech, these buildings often need substantial amounts of energy to operate, and that energy usually comes at a cost in the form of fossil fuels. Um, in 2014, 1.8% uh, of U.S. electricity consumption was attributed uh, to data centers. That's roughly equivalent to electricity consumption of the state of New Jersey. According to Marston, they also consume significant amounts of water. U.S. data centers directly and indirectly consume the equivalent of over 200,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools each year of water. So what can we do to help? Start by deleting old emails and photos. The less data stored on the cloud, the fewer data centers need to be built and maintained, which means less fossil fuels burned and less water consumed. Next, Marston says, turn off the TV before you go to bed. If you fall asleep to Netflix every night, you wake up the next morning and it's still on. That's using data center resources, which in turn is using energy and having implications as far as greenhouse gases and water consumption. But the most important thing of all, use your voice. Marston suggests reaching out to large data center companies. Engage with these companies uh, and shift them to more sustainable practices. Uh, that's going to have a more long-term impact on the environment than perhaps maybe turning Netflix off at night. Putting the power to make an impact here at the tip of your finger. Meteorologist Michaela Lucero, WUSA 9.